Hello, my name is Azareus. I am the founder of Blondery. We make and ship all natural blondies nationwide. And I am here today to show you how to organize some blondies, some banana bread, some fruit, all into a very awesome dessert charcuterie board. So stay tuned. All right, so I have my board ready to go. I made some banana bread. This is banana bread with a Nutella swirl in it. It is so yummy. It's one of um, a recipe that I got when I first started in the pastry chef world at a place called Wente Vineyards. There was a young lady there by the name of Janae, and this is her recipe. Janae, if you're watching, call me girl. Um, this is such a good recipe. It's very easy to make, and I will put the link in the description box on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna start by cutting this up. I may or may not have snuck a little piece earlier today, but that's my business. Um, I'm just gonna cut this into slices first. I'm pretty thin, about a half an inch. And then, oh, I forgot to mention, I also put some chocolate chips and some walnuts on top of this. So it's extra decadent, it's so moist, so yummy. It's the perfect banana bread recipe. I always turn to it whenever someone asks me to make banana bread. And then the Nutella swirl was just fitting. Um, I'm gonna slice it in half. Now I'm just gonna arrange it the best I can. And that Nutella is just oozing out of that. Wow. So I'm gonna arrange it as beautifully as I can without you losing a whole bunch of walnuts. <laughs> So I'm going to continue to just put banana bread on both sides, all around. So decadent, so moist, it's literally like the best. Toss those nuts back on there. Okay, so that's a good start. <laughs> I'm gonna add some blackberries. I personally love blackberries. When I was a kid, um, my family owns a few restaurants and behind the restaurants, there were um, like blackberry trees. And my brother and I used to pick them right off the branch and eat them. We didn't wash them or anything, but they, whenever I eat a blackberry, I'm reminded of that moment. It's, so nostalgic. I'm gonna add some blueberries too. But you know, the blueberries are kinda gonna go everywhere, so I think I'm gonna add some other stuff. Let's put the blondies on here. So, the blondies are in a brown box because I am trying out this recipe. I'm not fully sold yet on having a banana blondie, but I'm, I'm just trying it out. I'm gonna see if it works for me. Um, what I did was I basically made a cheesecake filling and then I made my regular blondie recipe. All the blondies stem from the same recipe. I just switch up the toppings or the ingredients a little bit. Um, they're all, all natural, no preservatives. But this one, I took some ripe bananas, made like a, cream cheese cheesecake filling and then I put it right on top of the blondie batter and baked it the reason why I do like it is that it has that sweet and saltiness that I love in the blondies um, but it also I feel like it needs some crunch so I think I'm gonna add a crumb topping on top what does that sound what do you think comment below and let me know if you think I should add a crumb topping right now I'm adding raspberries some color in there Put some color in there and then I'm gonna add some strawberries too. these strawberries are huge and they're organic so I'm kind of confused about how they're so big um, 
but I say that to say I'm gonna cut it in half. Normally I would leave them whole. If you watch my last video, I leave them whole, but this one is so big. Like I'm gonna cut this in half. No one can eat this. Um, it looks great on the platter though. <laughs> I'm gonna cut these. They're all really large. So all of them are gonna basically be cut in half. And I'll put some whole ones, the baby ones I'll put whole. I also wanted to put an actual banana right down the middle. Oh, this one's kind of a uh, ripe. <laughs> so basically I'm just gonna slice that part off. Yeah, the rest of it's good. And then I'm gonna cut on a diagonal. Something that you could also do that might be really good is pan fry these with a little butter and cinnamon, a little bit of sugar. You could eat them just like that too. That would be nice. Or you can um, put them on top of ice cream or onto your board. So there's some banana in the middle. I'm gonna keep adding strawberries. I love a good strawberry. I worked in Napa Valley for three years. Um, and actually, I don't know if that's a secret. I don't know if I'll get sued. If I <laughs> Basically, there were some really good strawberries at this place I used to work at. Um, used to order and they were very expensive I remember that and but they were so good and I, I understood why they were so expensive and the, they told me where the farm is and I went I remember I went and got some but they did not taste like the ones that we got at the place I used to work at so um, I think they were basically kind of like selling them like their their best ones or whatever and then selling the public selling to the public whatever was left over they were still good the ones i got were still good but i just the ones that yeah they were yummy okay so i'm cutting open a pomegranate and i'm just going to open it just a little bit and put it in here yeah and then I found these um, mandarins, which I want to see if I can peel. Yes. Sometimes the skin is still super tight on it, and you'll get a lot of the pith around it. And no one likes to eat the pith. Well, maybe some people do. I do not like to eat the pith. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to take these apart a little bit, add them to my board. What else would you guys want to see on a board like this? Comment below. Let me know. Kiwi. Love my kiwi. If you watched my last video, I talked about how I learned how to um, slice kiwi so that it's easily grabbable if that's a word and I'm going to show you how to do that so normally I just slice my kiwi in half and then I eat it with a spoon however you can slice it in slices and then people can eat it like an orange I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So I'm probably always gonna say that story <laughs> whenever I slice kiwi. And add those to the middle. Yum. What else do I have? I added some banana madeleines. I don't know if you guys saw that. 
that was um, something I made as well. Banana bread madeleines, very yummy. I'm gonna add some more blueberries to the corners here and just kind of fill it up. Now it's pretty full, but you want your board to look, um, looks are everything, right? So you want it to look very appealing, very full, um, and people will just dive in. I'm gonna move these blackberries over there because my strawberries are so large. Yes. Yum. Okay. A few more items. More raspberries. More blueberries. Put them in different places. I think one more banana. It's looking a little skimpy. And I mean, that's the star of the show here. Everyone's talking about banana bread. Comment below if you have made banana bread. <laughs> while being quarantined. I feel like everyone in their mother, daughter, granddaughter have been making banana bread. And what are your, some of you guys' favorite add-ins? I personally obviously like chocolate. Um, I've seen dried fruit. I've seen nuts, different types of nuts. Um, what else have I seen people adding? Nothing really. Some people just like it plain. That's cool too. Um, I think that is good. What do you guys think? I think that looks great. I want to add one more mandarin. Super fresh. Picked it myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did not pick this mandarin. But you know, um, there my mother picks lemons off of trees by their house um, whenever she needs a lemon. And I think that's so rustically cute. Reminds me of old times. No piss. All right. Here is my banana bread extravaganza board. We have fresh banana bread, banana bread blondies, um, banana bread madeleine, and lots of fresh fruit, lots of yummy things on here. I hope that you guys make this at home. Tag me if you guys do. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.